Hello and welcome to another video of this no code app development using Firebase and AppGyver. In the last video, we were talking about the page navigation from the courses homepage to the course detail page. We had already performed step number one, which create a page parameter on the course detail page known as param underscore group. Then we set the header as param underscore group and step number three, what we did was we already created the connection from the course detail page to the course, the course home page to the course detail page by passing the parameter value. Step number four is now we have to filter the data using the parameter that is passed. So let's look at what I'm talking about. So this is your home page. These are the courses. If I click on Google BigQuery, it shows me every single course details possible. If I go back and click on TensorFlow 2.2, it shows me again the same list. So what I wanna do is filter this based on what I click on the home page. Let's do that. So I go back, I am in the course detail page and I'm gonna increase this so that you can see it. So I'm in the course detail page and then click on the list. What we need to do is we need to filter the data in the repeat section. That means the data would be only repeated for the course that was clicked on the previous page. Let's see how we will do it. So I click on repeat with it's already master video one selected. I click on back one more time back and you would see formula. I repeat it one more time. So I click on the list, click on repeat with, click here, and then you directly can click on select binding type and you go to formula and click on this white. Here, I'm gonna write a function. And now let's take a look. You have to write this in the uppercase. So select. I know it's going to give a red for now, but don't worry about it. If you say select, it tells you that it's a keyword. And this is the description. This is the function. So select the master video, comma. You see, it became non red. Then I'm going to write an if statement if so what i'm saying is if the current item dot group that means the current item the item group in this master videos is equal to the app parameter you remember the app the page parameter param group. If item group is equal to param group, then true, else false. And close the bracket two times. I think you need to put two equals, yes. So I repeat it and let's understand this. You can see this function in the video description section below as well. Select this data if item dot group means the group of the master videos equals to the parameter page parameter param group if equals then it's true else false that's about it and then click on save click on save one more time and go back to AppGyver. It's going to refresh itself. Click on Google BigQuery, and you see only BigQuery related is clicked. Go back again. Click on Big Data Machine Learning. Only two videos are available. Click on TensorFlow. Only TensorFlow related videos are available. Click on Power BI. No videos. So I repeat it really quick. What did I do? I went to the list of the course detail page clicked on repeat with, 
and then created this formula. Select master videos if item group equal equals parameters param group. Then true, else false. I hope this is easy. I know it's going to take a little bit of time for you to practice. Please practice. If you have any questions, put this in the comment section of this video below. Again, thank you for watching.